Exercise number six. Writing. Writing T soft D. Writing a biography. A. Use your notes from exercise five to write a biography of your partner. A biography to write about someone. Don't use your partner's name on the paper. Use he or she instead. Don't say the name of your friend. Just write he or she. Use he or she. Example. My partner is a student. She lives near the university. University American. British the university. She studies fashion design. G silent. She studies fashion design at Fashion Institute. Her favorite class is history of design. She has a part-time job in a clothing store. She loves her job. And you continue to write. This is an example. So this is an example to write about your friend. Then all your friends are going to guess. A biography to write information about someone. Homework, write a paragraph about your best friend, okay, a biography about him. My classmate or my best friend is Ahmed. He lives in the Mohandisi. He studies, he studies English. He has a part-time job. He works in a restaurant. He's a cashier. He works for four hours. His phone number is 212-555-348. He's single. He's not married. Exercise 7. Look at the picture. What do you see? Hmm. Seven. Conversation. I start work at five now. Look at the picture. See what? Young man, young lady, what are they doing? They are, they are what? They are working out. Work out, exercise. They do exercises. Where are they? They are at the gym. They are at the gym. Yes. Conversation. I start work at five. Listen and practice. So listen and... Page 11. Exercise 7. Conversation. I start work at five. Part A. Listen and practice. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at 5. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. But by the way, I'm Daniel. Now, let's start to read. Conversation. I start work at 5. Listen and practice. And, American, and. Listen and practice. Listen, T, silent. Daniel, so. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yes. Really? What time do you go to work? Go to. T, soft D. Go to. I work in the afternoon. In the, the. The afternoon. The plus vowel. Vowel A, E, I, O, U, Z. Well, I've got the. Give a harf, put a harrik. 
فأول كلمة بنطقها the the afternoon I start work at five wow that's late when do you get home at night I usually get home at midnight midnight twelve o'clock at night midnight that is late what do you do exactly what do you do exactly what's your job I'm a TV announcer I do the weather report on KNTV don't you recognize me do you know don't you know me don't 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 you recognize me don't you okay. don't don't American sometimes so don't you recognize me Oh, you're Helen Black. Her name is Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. By the way, here means what? Anyway, anyway, I am Daniel. Here, by the way, doesn't mean in the way to. No, it means anyway. على فكرة مش معناها في الطريق إلى. So now let's have some questions about Daniel and Helen. Does Helen usually come to the gym in the morning? Does Helen usually come to the gym in the morning? Yes, she does. What time does she go to work? Helen works in the afternoon. She starts work at five. When does Helen? When does Helen get home at night? When does Helen get home at night? She gets home at midnight. What does she do? What does Helen do exactly? Helen is a TV announcer, television announcer. Helen is a television announcer. She does the weather report on KNTV. Does Daniel like her show on television? Daniel loves her show on TV. Now, number B. Let's listen to the rest of the conversation. What time does Daniel get up? What time does he start work? At what time, Daniel, at what time does Daniel get up, wake up? And when does he start work? Or at what time does he start work? Let's start to listen. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What time does Daniel get up? Start work. And you, Daniel? What's your day like? Well, right now I'm in school, so I just have a part-time job. But I'm pretty busy. I get up early, around 6 a.m. Then I work from 7 until 9. I go to school and study until 4 p.m. Then I work again oh. from 5 until 7. So what do you do? <laughs> I'm a dog walker. A what? <laughs> What's that? A dog walker. I take people's dogs for walks. It's great, and it keeps me in shape too. So let's answer the questions. What time does Daniel get up? Daniel gets up around 6 a.m., 6 o'clock in the morning. What time does he start work? He starts work at 7 o'clock. What's his job? Daniel is a student. And he has a part-time job. He's a dog walker. A dog walker? Someone who takes care of people's dogs. He likes his job a lot because it keeps him in shape. It makes him fit. Exercise number eight, pronunciation, syllable stress. 
So here, what does it mean syllable? Syllable is part of a word. Syllable means part of word. Each 11, exercise 8, pronunciation, syllable stress. Part A, listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Dancer, salesperson, accountant. Exercise 8, pronunciation phonetics, syllable stress. The stress on part of the word, syllable, part of a word. Stress to make the sound longer, louder, and higher. Stress to make the sound higher, louder, and longer. Listen and practice. Notice. Which syllable has the main stress? Which part of the word has the main stress? First word, jumper, we have also the word dancer. So stress is in the first part, jumper, jump, jump, jumper. So the stress on the first part. Or dancer, dance and then er, dancer. Sales per sin. So jumper, two parts. Sales per set. You have here what? One, two, three. Three parts. Three syllables. But where is the stress? The stress is in the beginning. Sales. Salesperson. Salesperson. So here the stress is in the beginning. Accountant. One, two, three. Salesperson, one, two, three. Accountant, one, two, three. But here, the stress is in part number two. Here, stress is in part number one. Salesperson, this is the stress is in the beginning. Accountant, stress is in the middle. The sound is higher in the middle. Now number B, which stress pattern do these words have? Add them to the columns in part A, then listen and check. You will write these words here, in group number 1, 2 or 3, the stress is in the beginning or in the middle, in the beginning. The word has two syllables, two parts, or the word has three syllables, three parts. Page 11, exercise 8, part B. Which stress pattern do these words have? Add them to the columns in part A, then listen and check. Carpenter, caregiver, musician, reporter, Server, tutor. Page 11, exercise 8, part B. Which stress pattern do these words have? Add them to the columns in part A, then listen and check. Carpenter, caregiver, musician, reporter, server, tutor. Number one, jumper or dancer also, server, server, tutor. So this is group number one. Group two, salesperson, carpenter, carpenter, caregiver, caregiver. Group number three, accountant. Musician, reporter, reporter. Exercise number nine. 
grammar focus time expressions. Let's listen to exercise number 9. Page 12. Exercise 9. Grammar focus. Time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. Seven. Seven o'clock. Seven a.m. equals seven in the morning. 7 p.m. equals 7 in the evening. Let's start to read again. Time expressions. I get up. I get up. T of T. I get up. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I get up, I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to. T of T. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. In the. The. Weeknights. GH silent. Means the nights of the week. Weekdays. Days of the week. I leave work early in the afternoon and weekends. Weekends. Days off. Day off like Friday in Egypt. Weekends, Saturday and, and Sunday in the USA. Sunday and Saturday, days off. Weekend, weekends, we don't go to work. I get home late at night on Fridays. Take care at night, at night. I don't say, I say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. I say here at, at night. I stay up until midnight, until until midnight, until 12 o'clock, on Saturdays, every Saturday. I wake up before noon on Sundays, before noon, before the afternoon. I wake up afternoon, means after 12 o'clock in the afternoon on Sundays. Expressing clock time, 7, 7, 7 o'clock, 7 a.m., 7 o'clock in the morning. 7 p.m. 7 in the evening 7 in the z not the 7 p.m. 7 in the evening now let's explain the rules here what is the rule we say in the morning in the evening in the afternoon so in plus parts of day. In parts of day. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Okay? At, hmm, said, at night, at midnight, at 7 o'clock. So after at, you have times of day, like at, at, at night, at midnight, at 7 o'clock. 8 o'clock, at 9 o'clock, at 10 o'clock, at plus o'clock, exactly, 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock, exactly, it means at 7, exactly, at night, at midnight. We have also on, on, British on, American on, on plus day, days of the week, on plus days of the week. On Saturday, on Sunday, on Saturdays, on Sundays. Saturdays, it means every Saturday. On Sundays, every Sunday. So on, plus days of the week. On Saturday, on Sundays, on Fridays, on weekends, on weeknights, on weekdays. This is on. 
We say also early, early, opposite, late. Like I get up early, I get up late. Before, opposite, after. I wake up before noon, I wake up after noon. Other time expressions, like, okay, we have until, until midnight. I stay up until midnight. Until, like, from to. If I said, I work until 5 o'clock. It means I work. So I said, I work until 5 o'clock. So I work from 9 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock. So until here means the end of the time. I work until 5 o'clock. Around, when I say, I go to work around 9. Around 9, that means not 9. No, it's not, not 9 exactly. I mean, maybe before 9, okay, with 10 minutes, or after 9 with 5 or 10 minutes. I get up around 10 o'clock. It means sometimes I get up 9.50. Sometimes I get up 10.05 or 10.15. This is around 10, but not exactly at 10 o'clock. <gasps> Hello again and welcome back to my English brain. Today, we are talking about time expressions. Alright, let's get started. Okay, now it's time for the grammar. And today's grammar is time expressions. Let's look at the prepositions at, in, and on, and how we use them in different time expressions. First, let's look at 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 is for specific time for example at 6 at 6 o'clock at 6 a.m. or 6 in the morning at 6 p.m. or 6 at night now at is always for a specific time a very specific time but we have another preposition around around we use for a general time more or less a general time for example if I say around six o'clock it's not exactly six o'clock it's around six o'clock so between sometime between 545 and 615 so again around is for the general time at is for the specific time. Let's look at in. In we use with time expressions for the general time of day. So these are the different times of days. We have in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. But we do not say in the night. No, 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 no. We have an exception. We say at night. So remember, general time of day, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, but we use at for night, at night. Very good. On, time expressions with on. On is for days of the week. For example, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, for example, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or on weekdays, weekdays are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, or on weeknights, so again, those are the weekdays, Monday to Friday, but at night, at night. And also on the weekend, so the weekend is Saturday and Sunday, the weekend. So remember, at, we use time expressions for specific time, at 6 o'clock, but we also use at 
when we say at night, at night. Around is for a general time, not specific. Around six o'clock is not specific. In we use for the general time of day. In the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. On we use for days of the week. All right. The next time expressions we have are early and late, before and after. Early and late are opposites. So, early and late. For example, I get up early in the morning. Early depends on the time. In the morning, early is four or five, maybe six o'clock. Late. Late is the opposite of early. For example, I go to bed late at night. Again, late depends on the time. Late at night is 10, 11, 12, maybe 1 o'clock. That's late at night. So remember, late and early are opposites. Before and after. Before relates to something that happened previous. For example, I go to bed before 10 o'clock at night. So I go to bed before 10 o'clock. Something happens before 10 o'clock. I go to bed before 10 o'clock. After is the opposite of before. So it means later. For example, after I wake up, I eat breakfast. So first I wake up and then I eat breakfast. So after I wake up, I eat breakfast. Very good. So remember, early and late are opposites and they talk about relative time. Before and after are also opposites and they talk about the sequence. The last time expression is until or till. Until and till indicate when action stops. So for example, we can say I watch TV till I go to bed. So this means I watch TV, I watch TV till the moment I go to bed and then there's no more TV. I stop watching TV when I go to bed. So again, till indicates at this time I stop watching TV. Okay, very good guys. Now it's time to practice. Circle the correct words. In this exercise you choose the correct preposition at, on, early, before, any time expression. Example, I get up at 6 o'clock. Weekdays, days of the week, on, on, weekday. So number one, at, on. British, on. Number two, I have lunch. I have lunch at... 11.30 on Mondays to at on 3 I have a little snack around around 10 o'clock around 10 at night said night at night at midnight at night 4 Fridays, days, so I use on. On Fridays, I leave school early. Four, on, early. Five, I stay up 10 a.m. Choose before or until. I stay up until 1 a.m. Until the end of time. I stay up until 1 a.m. Weekends, weekends, days, so I use, I put on, 
on weekends. Five, until, on. Six, I sleep. I sleep until noon. The end of time. I sleep until noon on Sundays. Until, on. B. Rewrite. Rewrite to write again. The sentence said in part A, so that they are true for you. Then compare with a partner. So you can write these examples about yourself. Example, I get up at 9 o'clock on weekdays. I have lunch at 2 o'clock on Mondays. C. Pair work. Take turns asking and answering these questions. 1. Which days do you get up early? Late. I get up early every day. I get up late on Fridays. 2. What's something you do before 8 o'clock in the morning? I have breakfast before 8 o'clock in the morning. 3. What's something you do on Saturday evenings? I go to the club on Saturday evenings. What do you do only on Sundays? On Sundays, I visit my uncle. Exercise number 10. Listening. Daily schedules. Schedules, timetables. Listen to Greg, Megan, and Lori. Talk about your daily schedules. This word schedule, American, British, schedule. Now you complete the chart. The job, what is the job? Gets up at, gets home at, goes to bed at. Goes to bed at, this is the time of sleeping. Page 12, exercise 9, grammar focus, time expressions. I get up at 6 in the morning on weekdays. Page 12, exercise 10, listening, daily schedules. Part A, listen to Greg, Megan, and Lori talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Greg? I'm a mechanic. Oh, yeah? So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the mornings and afternoons. I get up around 6 a.m. and I work from 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. I get home pretty early, about 4 p.m. I go to bed at 10. And what do you do, Megan? Greg, what's his job? Mechanic. H. Silent. Car mechanic. When does he get up? Gets up at 6 a.m. 6 o'clock in the morning. Gets home at 4 p.m. Goes to bed at 10 p.m. What about Megan? Well, I'm a receptionist. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job. So, I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. Megan, what's her job? She's a receptionist. Receptionist. Gets up at 7 a.m. Gets home at 6 p.m. 
goes to bed at midnight. Midnight, twelve o'clock at night. What about you, Lori? Well, my hours are a bit different. I'm a nurse. I start work at eleven o'clock at night. I work until seven a.m. Wow. So, what time do you get up? I get home at eight and go to bed at about eight thirty, and I sleep until four p.m. And what do you do in the evenings? Oh, you know, I have dinner, watch TV, see friends. It's a great schedule for me. Page twelve, exercise ten, listening. So, what time do you get up? I get home at eight and go to bed at about eight thirty, and I sleep until four p.m. And what do you do in the evenings? Oh, you know, I have dinner, watch TV, see friends. It's a great schedule for me. Laurie, job. She's a nurse. Nurse. She gets up at four p.m. Gets home at eight a.m. Goes to bed at eight thirty a.m. B. Class activity. Who do you think has the best daily schedule, and why? What do you think? Who has the best daily schedule, and why? This is a class activity. A group discussion between you and your friends. Exercise number twelve: Reading. Why do you need a job? Why do you want a job? Work. Scan the profiles. Who is in high school? Who is in college? College, university. Who is a new parent? Parent, father. Or mother. These people need jobs. These people need jobs. Read about their schedules, experience, and why they need a job. Experience. The work a person did in the past. Experience. The work a person did in the past. We have here three persons: Eddie, Julia, Dennis. Let's start with Eddie. Eddie Chen. Eddie Chen. I am sixteen now. I am sixteen now. Eddie Chen. I am sixteen now. I am sixteen years old now, and my parents, my father and mother. And my parents then don't give me an allowance anymore. Allowance, money parents give children to spend. An allowance, pocket money. My mom and dad don't give me any pocket money. I want to earn some money. I want to earn some money. I want to receive money from work. I want to receive money for work because I like to go out with my friends on the weekend. I like to hang out to go out with my friends on the weekends. Weekends on the weekend, day off. I go to school. I go to school at eight. And get home around four thirty. I go to school at eight, and get home around four thirty. My parents, my mom and dad, my father and mother, own a restaurant. They have a restaurant, so I know a little about restaurant work. They own a restaurant. They have a restaurant. So let's ask some question about Eddie Chen. How old is Eddie? Sixteen years old. Does Eddie? Does Eddie have any allowance anymore? No, he doesn't. 
he doesn't have any allowance. How can he earn money? He can earn some money by, by working in a restaurant. Why does he like to earn money? Because he likes to go out with his friends. At what time does he go to school? He goes to school at 8 o'clock in the morning. When, the, when does he get home? He gets home around 4.30. Does Eddie have an experience? Yes, he does. He knows a little about restaurant work. Number two, this is Julia Brown. I study French. I want to be a teacher someday. One, two, wanna. I have classes all day on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, and on Wednesday, Wednesday, the silent, and Friday afternoons. I usually study on weekends. I need a job because college is real expensive. College, university. University is real expensive. I don't have an experience, but I am a fast learner. But I, but I, T of D, but I'm a fast learner. So this is Julia. What does she study? She studies French. Why does she study French? Because she wants to be a teacher someday. When does she go to college? She goes, she goes to college. She has classes all day on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays afternoon. So all the days and on Wednesdays and Fridays on the afternoon. When does she study? She usually studies on weekends. She studies on Saturday and, sun and on Sunday. Why does she need a job? She needs a job because college is really expensive. Does she have any experience? Did she work before? No. She doesn't have any experience. She didn't work before. Is she a fast learner? Yes, she is. She is a fast learner. She can learn fast. Number three, Dennis Parker. Dennis, my husband is an accountant and makes good money, but we don't save very much. So Dennis is married. Her husband works as an accountant. He has a good salary but they don't save very much. Save money to keep money, to keep money in the bank. We live in a small apartment. They live in a small flat, apartment flat. We have a new baby. We want to save money to buy a house. They want to keep money to buy a house. I take care of the baby, so I need a job I can do at home. I can type well, and I have a computer, and I have a new computer. I can type, type, to write on computer. To write on computer. Let's ask some questions about Dennis. What's her husband's job? He's an accountant. Does he make good money? Yes, her husband makes good money. Do they save much money? No, they don't. Where do they live? They live in a small apartment. Why does Dennis want to save money? 
she wants to save money to buy a house. Where does she like to work? She likes to work at home, so she can take care of her baby. What can she do? She can type well. And she has a new computer. A. Read the article, Why do these people need jobs? Check through the correct boxes. So here in this exercise, you have Julia, Dennis, Eddie, and they choose the correct answer. Number one, to save money. Who wants to save money? Dennis. Two, to pay for college. To pay for college, to pay for the university, the fees of education. Julia. Number two, Julia. Three, to go out on the weekends. To go out with his friends on the weekends. This is, of course, Eddie. Number three, Eddie. To buy a house. Dennis. Again, the answers. Number one, Dennis. Number two, Julia. Three, Eddie. Four, Dennis. B. Pair work. Choose the best job for each person. Explain why. This is a pair work and you can do between you and your friends. Chef, French and Italian cooking. Weekends, weekends only. Weekends, on the weekend, you can work as a chef, a cook. Server. Evenings only. Experience plus. English tutor. Tutor, teacher who gives private lessons. Flexible work hours, $10 an hour. Receptionist, mornings and afternoons. No experience necessary. Experience is not important. Caregiver, work with children, earn great money. Online salesperson, work at home. Earn up to $20 an hour. You sell products on the internet. On the internet, online salesperson. So you can choose the best job for each person. And you can make a discussion with your friends. That's the end of unit number two, part two. We should. Good luck. And now... Let's get the vocab in this unit. Interchange 1, 3rd edition, Unit 2, Part 2. Unit 2, Exercise number 7, TV announcer, weather report, recognize. Realize. Dog walker. Dog walker, a person who takes care of dogs and walks them in the park. Pet sitter. Sitter, T, soft D. Pet sitter. R, double R. Pet sitter, to look after someone's pet while they are away from their home. Twelve, regular. Flight. Flight GH silent. Experience. Quickly. Save. Take care of. So take care of. Of. V. Gonna be of. 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 Take care of. Type. Allowance. A raise. Earn money. Earn his living. Save, saved, saved. Save money. Necessary. British. American. Necessary. Essential. A review. Review. Unit 2 workbook. 
These are the words of the workbook, and you have to do the homework. A nightclub, fashion designer, a design studio, security guard, security, T, soft D, security guard, architect, a construction engineer, exactly, girlfriend, girl, so make the L as L, girl, an R double R, girlfriend, hotel management, management, share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.